Online shopping is great, but has anybody else also noticed like some weird things happening over the past couple years? Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with another little general interest vlog, and this is about the freak show that online shopping has become. Before we get started here, I just want to say that global commerce, on paper at least, has, has some wonderful opportunities that weren't possible, you know, 50 years ago. And, you know, it's like you can actually find something incredible from across the world in another country, especially like food products and stuff. The global market has made it possible for things to happen. Now, of course, there's a lot of bad things that come along with that, but we can get into that in another day. Like you shouldn't be able to eat these like uh, exotic fruits all year round because your body was designed to eat them in your locale, whatever, I can go on and on. I really think there's just a few companies that monopolize these worldwide markets. And I think that is propagating this problem into, into a real, real uh, everyday thing for everybody. And in this case, it's like the, the combination of the Alibaba and AliExpress company out in China. They're like as big, I, nobody knows what they really make, but they're probably as big as Amazon. Then you have Amazon, you know, the Amazon FBA, now they have, it's called uh, Fulfillment by Amazon. And, in, and to some degree at a much lower percentage is uh, eBay, but they're killing everybody with this shopping. Now, let me give you an example here so you can kind of get the gist because maybe I'm not making my point good enough. I, I was looking for a mini chainsaw. I have a real big chainsaw here at home, but I was looking for something small and cheap to cut branches like that are in tight locations that I don't really, I don't want to, maybe too close to a house or a pipe, something small and light and manageable. Look up mini chainsaw on Amazon. And over here, you'll see, these are just, I think, 10 or so of the results that we got. Now let's read off the names of these things. And they all look pretty much identical, okay? F-E-Z-D or Feezy D mini chainsaw. And then you have this next one here, Wegsd, Wegsd mini chainsaw. And here's another one, Toriza, Toriza mini chainsaw. And then here's one, NBW mini chainsaw. And then this one, Dyson. I guess they're trying to make it sound like a Dyson vacuum. And this, and then they start getting ridiculous. NXOWZF, I can't even say it. And there's a couple here that are generic four inch chainsaw and mini cordless chainsaw. And here's another one that's completely unintelligible. It's not a freaking brand name. LACAB, LACAB. I mean, what is going on with that? And here's another one, Vog Vigo chainsaw. And this one, I, I swear to God, this must have been just a joke. <laughs> A-O-E-I-U-V, I-O-V. It's like they took the A-E-I-O-U of the, of the uh, vowels. A-E-I-O-U vowels, but they mixed up. I don't know. Have you noticed they're all the same exact freaking pro product, and there's a difference in price and maybe 20 bucks or 30 bucks between them. It's like a monkey threw uh, like an alphabet, darts at an alphabet. It's ridiculous. Now, you can, then again, you can get these exact same stupid plasticky, junky things on AliExpress because nobody uses it. Not many people know how to use AliExpress. And it's a little bit different. There's no prime or anything like that. You can get these things for about 20 or 30% lower than what you're seeing on Amazon, which is marked up independent sellers. And if you go on Alibaba, you, and you sign up for an account and you buy in bulk, buy like a hundred or a thousand of these things, you'll end up paying like 60 to 80% less. And I think you can get these stupid uh, chainsaws for under 10 bucks on Alibaba, but you got to buy a hundred of them. Now who wants to buy a hundred units just to save uh, 40 bucks on a piece of crap fire hazard dr uh, saw that's going to break anyway. Now, I just want to let you know, this is, this is the, what tens of thousands, if not more, a hundred thousand or more entrepreneurs are doing on Amazon. They want to make it rich on uh, FBA. And I'm not knocking these small businesses. This is what capitalism is all about. However, while it's nice to see these independent people making a few bucks reselling Chinese junk, you got to see the bigger picture. It's still a monopoly between China and Amazon. You know, China junk and the king of logistics. And, you know, thanks to this technology we have, this, this crap is, is starting to just invade. It's making it hard to find good things these days when you have a hundred identical items being listed on Amazon. It's muddying the waters to find good products. Maybe no one makes a little product like this, but, uh, and if they do, it's probably two or $300. All these people doing FBA are getting sold 
something that's really not the case. They, they work their butts off and they don't, I, a lot of them don't even make the six figures. You'll see them on TikTok and Instagram saying, oh, I make all this money. But first of all, you got to bust your ass seven days a week and it, it, you can get disrupted in a heartbeat and your revenue will tank. So I don't know. I, I, they're just getting a tiny slice of the pie compared to what these other corporations are getting. And you know who loses? You, the consumer. If you like these videos, please hit the bell, subscribe, and la da 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 da, and I'll see you next time.